mbolea gushi iko katika circulation minister mithika linturi akakuja akapinga akasema hakuna mbolea gushi ambayo iko rais william ruto akakuja akaongea vikali sana akisema perpetrators they should be brought to book wale wana deal na mbolea gushi Eh, alafu juzi umeona prime cabinet msali amdavadi amekuwa na kikao alafu waka suspend hiyo mbolea kwa kupeana kupitia serials board masala kadha yanaibuka hapa jambo la kwanza is the government working in unison ama serikali kila mtu anafanya mambo yake waziri anasema hii Rais anasema hii. Tutaka kushtumu vikali kwamba serikali inacheza na maisha ya wakenya. Huu ni msimu wa kupanda. Utakubali aje mbolea kwa wananchi. Mimi na represent rural constituency ambayo sisi kwetu hapa kilimo ndio kila kitu mbele na nyuma hatuna biashara nyingine. Huu ni msimu wa kupanda. Sisi tunataka tukue food secure as a country lakini serikali ambayo inatakana kuwa inasaidia wananchi kuhakikisha kwamba tuko na chakula cha kutosha ndio serikali ambayo inapatia watu mbolea gushe tuko na vitengo mingi sana vya security tuko na NIS tuko na DCI na leo hii hakuna mtu mmoja ambaye ameshikwa kuhusiana na mbolea nyinyi mmeona mbolea ikipeanwa mawe wewe umeenda national serious board umenunua mbolea na ni mawe National Serious Board ni agency ya serikali Munataka wa Kenya wafanye nini na ndio mimi nataka kuambia rais Ruto kama hako serious anataka wa Kenya umchukue serious mithika linturi should have gone home like yesterday tunataka waziri wa wa kilimo ajiuzulu because he has been an embarrassment to this nation kila wakati unaona mithika linturi unaona scandals Ukiona mithika linduri ni scandal. Ukiona yeye ni scandal. Hatujasahau hivi tu juzi. Tulikuwa na sukari ambaye ilikuja sukari ambayo sio sawa. Kupitia wizara yake na ni yeye ndiyo anapatia cartels hizo licenses kuleta sukari. Wakatuambia wa Kenya wame sukari mbaya. Na itakuwa mbaya sana mheshimiwa rais. Kama waziri wako ameku, amezembea kwa kazi sio mara moja sio mara mbili sio mara tatu na wewe amfuti kazi ile kitu mnataka ni tax sasa mnataka ku tax eh, farm produce mtataxa aje farm produce na hakuna mbolea watu hawatakuza mazao we will not have farm produce hatutakuwa na mazao hatutakuwa na mavuno mshumo rais unataka watu wafanye namna gani you are endangering a whole generation wewe wakati unapeana mbolea ambayo ni gushi inatoa chakula watu wanakula hiyo chakula are you, are you sure it is safe a whole generation you want us to perish just because a few people want to make some coins watu wanataka kuunda pesa kwa maskini hii serikali ime, imekuwa serikali ya bunwasi na imekuwa serikali ya maajabu sisi tunamuomba mheshimiwa rais usikie vilio ya wa Kenya Uyu mithika linturi aende nyumbani asi hafai hata siku moja kukaa akiwa waziri kwa hii jamhuri yetu tukufu ya Kenya because nothing is working nothing is working kwanza PS alikuja akatuambia ndio kuna mbolea gushi ambayo iko kwa circulation eh kebs wakakuja wakatuambia mbolea gushi iko katika circulation minister mithika linturi akakuja akapinga akasema hakuna mbolea gushi ambayo iko rais william ruto akakuja akaongea vikali sana akisema perpetrators they should be brought to book wale wana deal na mbolea gushi e, alafu juzi umeona prime cabinet msali amdavadi amekuwa na kikao alafu waka suspend hiyo mbolea kwa kupeana kupitia serials board masala kadha yanaibuka hapa jambo la kwanza 
is the government working in unison ama serikali kila mtu anafanya mambo yake waziri anasema hii rais anasema hii tutaka kushtumu vikali kwamba serikali inacheza na maisha ya wakenya huu ni msimu wa kupanda utakubali aje mbolea kwa wananchi mimi na represent rural constituency ambayo sisi kwetu hapa kilimo ndio kila kitu mbele na nyuma hatuna biashara nyingine huu ni msimu wa kupanda sisi tunataka tukue food secure as a country lakini serikali ambayo inatakana kuwa inasaidia wananchi kuhakikisha kwamba tuko na chakula cha kutosha ndio serikali ambayo inapatia watu mbolea gushi tuko na vitengo mingi sana vya security tuko na NIS tuko na DCI na leo hii hakuna mtu mmoja ambaye ameshikwa kuhusiana na mbolea nyinyi mmeona mbolea ikipeanwa mawe wewe umeenda national serious board umenunua mbolea na ni mawe national serious board ni agency ya serikali mnataka wa Kenya wafanye nini na ndio mimi nataka kuambia rais Ruto kama ako serious anataka wa Kenya umchukue serious mithika linturi should have gone home like yesterday tunataka waziri wa, wa kilimo ajiuzulu because he's been an embarrassment to this nation kila wakati unaona mithika linturi unaona scandals ukiona mithika linturi ni scandal ukiona yeye ni scandal hatujasahau hivi tu juzi tulikuwa na sukari ambaye ilikuja sukari ambayo sio sawa kupitia wizara yake na ni yeye ndiye anapatia cartels hizo licenses kuleta sukari wakatuambia wa Kenya wame consume sukari mbaya na itakuwa mbaya sana mheshimiwa rais kama waziri wako amezembea kwa kazi sio mara moja sio mara mbili sio mara tatu na wewe amfuti kazi ile kitu mnataka ni tax sasa mnataka ku tax eh, farm produce mtataksa aje farm produce na hakuna mbolea watu hawatakuza mazao we will not have farm produce hatutakuwa na mazao hatutakuwa na mavuno mshumo rais unataka watu wafanye namna gani you are endangering a whole generation wewe wakati unapeana mbolea ambayo ni gush inatoa chakula watu wanakula hiyo chakula ayus ayushu sure it itself a whole generation you want us to perish just because a few people want to make some coins watu wanataka kuunda pesa kwa maskini hii serikali ime, imekuwa serikali ya bunwasi na imekuwa serikali ya maajabu sisi tunamuomba mheshimiwa rais usikie vilio ya wakenya huyu mithika linturi aende nyumbani asi hafai hata siku moja kukaa akiwa waziri kwa hii jamhuri yetu tukufu ya Kenya because nothing is working nothing is working it is common sense ndio maana nje atafute hiyo 2003 ndio aenda apange laini kwa serious board imemgarimu muda imemgarimu hela mimi naomba serikali irudishie wale watu ambao wamepoteza pesa iwarudishie pesa yao kwa sababu the only innocent thing they did ni kuona kwamba wao wakitaka mbolea waende wanunue mbolea kwa government agency serious board ambayo hao wanaamini serikali the only problem was to trust government and they have lost the money this government must return must refund must reimburse innocent citizen of its money lazima warudishiwe pesa yao na huyu mithika lunduri awekwe pingu aende ndani we cannot joke with kenyans like this na mimi naomba wabunge wenzangu tukirudi bunge haya maneno ni mambo makubwa it's bipartisan sio Kenya kwanza sio azimio haya ni mambo yanahusu wa Kenya we cannot allow a few individuals to continue joking with the lives of Kenyans ati wanatafuta pesa kwani how much money does someone want unataka pesa kiasi gani mithika linturi pesa ya sukari umechukua sasa kwa fertilizer unataka how much money hata kama ndiyo unataka pesa ya kufanya siasa you cannot do politics on graves you can't you cannot and you should not